We've been getting a lot of questions about what we take with us in the RV, what we take in terms of plates and utensils and other items, and where we store them, how we store them to keep everything well organized in our RV. That's what this video is about, so stay tuned. So I just wanted to share a few ways that we organize our RV and specifically inside some of the cupboards because as everyone knows having minimal space in an RV and try to maximize what you can put in there and keep things organized is really really important to being able to basically keep your sanity and to be able to know where to find things. So this is our main kitchen storage cupboard that I use for as you'll see plates and storage container so I'm going to show you what we have in here starting here on the bottom shelf you can see we use Corel dishes and we started out on the road with a set for six even though there are only two of us but we found that a set for four works well because we have five parts of the set with regular dinner plates the shallow bowls which can double as dinner plates slash bowls for some meals regular bowls and small bowls and these are really handy other for you can have cereal in that but you could also just use them for condiments and well anything to keep in a small bowl really and of course small plates so with all of that it's a setting of 20 plenty for all of us especially even when we're boondocking like often we will still use our regular plates and not even disposables when we're boondocking well what you'll see here is a stackable silicon set of bowls so these are actually little measuring bowls uh, this is like an eighth of a cup and a quarter of a cup you can see with these lines all the way up to up to two cups so you can use these for measuring you can use them for serving you can use them for prep I use them for lots of things I love that they're silicon and they don't rattle and they're not heavy and they look really nice and bright and colorful so these are awesome anything stackable and nesting in an RV is great because it really takes up a lot less space so I've got these four little tiny little cups that from Ikea we actually do use those quite a bit you'll see at the back here we've got these Rubbermaid storage containers and of course they're stackable they come in all different depths so we've got quite a few of those um, always putting the shallow ones at the bottom because then you'll get more they will fit in vertically these are great for in the fridge because what also happens these lids stack together so it ends up keeping your cupboard from getting into a mess and losing lids which we know is easy to happen but what's great about these containers especially in the fridge is they actually interlock the bottom into the lids so they're not going to move and slide around so much in the fridge and you can really maximize your fridge space that's how we've managed to get by with an eight cubic foot regular RV fridge for all of these years without a residential so with these I think I bought the box of about 40 pieces which sounds like a lot but by the time you have the lids and all the different shapes and sizes that would actually you'd be surprised I ordered two of them probably too many but didn't just didn't seem like one box was enough and last but not least is this nesting bowl set it doesn't quite <laughs> sit as straight as it used to because in our town home I put this in the dishwasher and it made it go a little weird but uh, they still stack in together well enough for our needs here in the RV you've got stackable uh, mixing bowl like a colander a mesh strainer a small mixing bowl and of course this has four measuring cups the largest of which I've made the mistake of melting in the convection oven so don't do that but <laughs> we've still got three left a bit rattly now because it doesn't fit so well anymore but it fits really easily just into the back without having to take everything else out so that's one thing I find in the RV kitchen is you want to be able to reach everything pretty easily to make your life easy so up here so this is one of these plastic cheap sterilite containers and that's where I keep all of the small containers that came in that Rubbermaid box that I was mentioning earlier so this is a great way to keep all of your small things together instead of turning into a big mess inside your cupboard you can probably see here that we've lined all of our cupboards this is like a rubber you can find these at Walmart or Camping World that kind of a place do get the thicker one it's much better than the thinner one which may be cheaper it's worth spending the extra it really helps keep things in place and it also helps keep your uh, cupboards and bases clean but of course because it's not solid uh, if it's a some cupboard that has liquids you might want to put something else underneath that to protect your shelves as well but this doesn't need it for these kind of things 
These are really handy as well. I think I picked these up for a 10 pack at the dollar store for a dollar, <laughs> dollar tree. And these just go on top of plates so that, again, maximizing. This, believe it or not, this does not rattle when we're driving down the road. You actually can't hear this. Up here, a few more miscellaneous bowls and serving plates. And you can see at the back there just a, a couple more uh, storage containers there, mostly for produce. They should probably be in the fridge with produce, but <laughs> I need to go shopping. A little salad dressing maker. I like making my own dressings rather than buying lots of them. I like to make my own. And that's about it. That uh, keeps the cupboard pretty tidy and organized and know where everything is. I can reach everything pretty easily. And... Uh, Honestly, this is mostly what I use and need most days. All right, so that's our main kitchen cupboard. Now let's have a look where I keep my spices. And here underneath the TV is my kind of a pantry. I use the cupboard above and below the TV as a pantry. Uh, down here you can see I've got a little mini bread maker and these couple of containers, these couple of boxes I had at our townhome, actually they fit perfectly to stick on top here. I think I got those at World Market. And uh, up here, spices. These I find, unless you go through a lot of them, they're just too big. I wouldn't probably buy most of these again from Costco, as you probably might imagine. We have a bit of a thing for Talenti ice cream. <laughs> There's probably about 20 containers here. This is how I justify buying Talenti ice cream because I keep the containers and I use them to store things like uh, we've got lentils over here and salt and black beans and dry beans, that kind of a thing. So these are great for storage because they also stack on top of each other. There's a little lip on the lid that allows you to do that. And over here you see these strips of uh, five little spice bottles and they just snap into this a uh, little strip on the back. You could separate them out or just keep them together. It does have a sticker on the back that you could mount it to the inside of a cupboard, but I actually like just keeping them like this. And uh, you can see here, it's got like, you can get a little shake or you can get a spoon out of there. They're not huge, but they're big enough for my RV. And uh, I just like being able to grab one out and use it. And I try to organize them by type of spice. I keep the sweet ones together and the savory ones together and the spicy ones together. But here's what you might find too is at, uh, this is a McCormick's, I think Whole Foods has some as well where they're actually very similar shape and size and you can actually buy them like that and they fit straight into there so sometimes I'll do that as well. So one more thing that you'll see I've done here is put little labels on each of these spice jars and uh, I just use a Dymo labeler for that. So that makes it really easy to label and identify and uh, keep everything nice and organized. Again, these are really inexpensive on Amazon. I've got four strips of five. Um, like I said, you could stick them inside of a cupboard if that works for you. I just chose not to. But really, my tip would be just don't go out buying too many things for storage in your RV until you already have your RV because you really don't know what's going to work until you find the one that you're going to end up living in or spending a lot of time in and they're all different so our next RV may not this may not necessarily work in our next RV but it's worked really well for us in this one and so what we've got up here is my instant pot which is actually a pretty bulky and heavy item that lives up here along with three of these tall sterilite containers that are great for things like rice, quinoa, cereal, uh, pancake mix, flour, that kind of a thing. So that, because they're tall containers, work really well in this cupboard. So this is my, I call my tea cupboard. And this is one of the things we discovered early on is the things that you like to use every day, like my tea and well, sometimes my Vegemite being Australian. If we were at a Walmart parking lot and I had things in the cupboards that were in the uh, pantry cupboards that were covered by the slide, I couldn't get access to them. So I learned very early on to keep the things I like to be able to access anytime and all the time really, really accessible. So this is where I keep like my travel mugs, a couple of tea mugs, garbage or honey, and a few of these like cans of tea work really well, but this is really handy. 
again, another one of these skinny little sterile light plastic containers that groups all different kinds of things together, stopping the cupboard from just getting cluttered again. Just keep all of them together and then pull it out. It makes it so much easier and helps keep your cupboard organized. This shelf is height adjustable, so think about that as well. Maybe you don't realize that your RV has cupboards with adjustable shelves to be able to change the height to whatever works for you. So we kept this up really high to give us room in here and just a little bit for these uh, Ziploc bags and foil and press seal, that kind of a thing. So of course everybody needs a junk drawer and this is ours. These are skinny little drawers which are not super practical but by getting these little dividers, whether you get plastic dividers or these little bamboo ones that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond or you probably can get them on Amazon, I just keep things a little bit more compartmentalized. So again, there's a lot going on in there but it's not it's not too scary. You can see we don't have too many kitchen gadgets. We really just have what we need and we try to have things that have multiple purposes. Kitchen drawers. So this is one of these bamboo uh, dividers and this was pretty much an exact perfect fit for our drawer. There's a tiny little gap here so it fits everything really well. In order to get this in a fit, this is such a snug fit, Mark actually had to remove the latch and then shave just a little bit of, just a millimetre of wood off this to get it in and it fits completely, perfectly snugly now. Put that back on and that fits perfectly. Of course, every RV drawer is going to be different. These organisation tips are not just for RVs. You can use these in your home or tiny home or on your boat, anything. It's just, it's to be an our RV. But in here, we've got another one of these bamboo organisers and we got rid of our big heavy knife block. It was just too bulky and I ended up just getting these knife set, Cuisinier knife set that have sleeves. So it's really handy also if you're going on picnics or going to somebody's house for a potluck, you can easily transport a knife and keep it protected and everyone else protected. We ended up just keeping four steak knives here and there's four just fit perfectly in here but to keep the blades protected, I just cut up one of these little pieces of uh, rubber drawer lining and keep it there sit them on top and they fit perfectly that's not a knife this is a knife <laughs> mate mate what else have we got in here oh just different little utensils you know again we just get things that are small always small things these are from Ikea got a lot of Ikea more little knives with sheets. I actually really think these are great instead of having, you know, some people like having a knife block or having them displayed out. I just like keeping them away and protected personally. But uh, it's all personal choice. This is our, this is our biggest uh, utensil drawer really. And we don't have that many. Could probably pare it down a little. But uh, that's it. One little drawer in our RV houses most of these and honestly I could probably get rid of two or three of these things we try to do that periodically just to keep things moving in and out of the RV to keep keep freeing up space okay so like Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex in the City aka Carrie Bradshaw I use my RV oven for storage so this is great because it's using something that I don't use anymore I use my convection oven when I want to cook or bake but in here it's just um, mostly things of silicon which is great actually um, I've got these nice chopping mats that take up no space at all and they're a great way to put on the bottom shelf to help stop things from sliding around and rattling when you're driving down the road here it's like silicone cupcake or muffin tray this was actually a set of 12 but 12 won't fit and keep turning in my convection so I actually cut this down from a 12 tray to a 9 and just ended up getting rid of the third one because I was not using it but this can roll up and take up very little space it's great for baking um, silicon oven mitts so they're really light and easy to clean and in here heart shape <laughs> egg moulds slash pancake moulds and believe it or not we use these every single week because Mark makes us both heart shaped pancakes for breakfast again another um, silicone mitt and mat that goes on your table to help protect that from anything hot this is great for making key lime pie might make one, one of those sometime 
Zoodle Maker, so I use this for grating, and it, as you can see, it's very light, takes up next to no space. And what else have I got in here? Oh yeah. All I have is one Pyrex baking dish, and it's not even one of the big ones, but it's great for making brownies. We've made a uh, we made a turkey roast in there for Thanksgiving. I've used this for lots of things. I've made pumpkin bread, all kinds of things in that, and a little cooling rack for when I'm baking and for bread. And again, more of these silicone mats, which are great for cooking on as well. But they're also just great to stop things rattling around in the RV. I love having all of the silicon things because it really just reduces weight and reduces rattling when you're driving down the road. These are the uh, Debbie Meyer green bags. These are for your fresh produce. You may already use these in your home or you may have already used them because these are just great for keeping your uh, produce fresher longer of course but just maximizing the space in your fridge if you've got little gaps here and there you can always find a way to fit in a little bag easier than you can a rigid container I usually just buy these on Amazon too just a couple little decorative serving plates for outside and that's it one more space saving item is my I think it's a progressive lettuce spinner slash salad bowl this pops right out much more easily than I'm making it look actually <laughs> you know what I do I did this <laughs> I do it with my knee oh, it's much easier with my knee than with my hands this is a salad spinner to wash and dry your lettuce and your salad but you can also use this as a salad serving bowl when you're done and of course when it's not in use you see how bulky this is just like this when you're done when you're done it just takes up a fraction of the space and you can even store it sideways one more thing you might be thinking about very important that we didn't cover yet is wine glasses where do we store our wine glasses well I keep them in the original box that they came in because it's just takes up less space and keeps them protected these are really fine glass I love these they were um, Rydell wine glasses. You can get red and white wine glasses. We drink everything out of this. Red, white, water, soda water, Kahlua, <laughs> champagne. <laughs> We're not fussy like that. We just drink everything out of these. But we like them because they're nice and small and don't take up too much space. So that's how we store those. And they just pop up here. So they don't take up too much space and there's no risk of breaking them. So I think I've covered about everything. If you think I've missed anything or if you've got any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. Be happy to answer them. I'll pop some links down below as well in case you're interested in any of the items that I showed you here today. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it gave you some ideas for organization in your RV. And feel free to share your storage and organization tips down in the comments below because I would love to read them and I know that everyone else watching this video would love to read them too. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the road.